welcome to student today's lecture we have discussed the topic polymers in this topics we have see various terms for this polymers first terms we have discussed is a fiber you know that fibers fibers it is a high molecular weight linear polymers having a thread like structure they can be woven into a fabric it is a high tensile strength and it is a two types that is a uh, natural fibers and artificial fibers for example the natural fibers are cotton wool etc and the synthetic fibers they are nylon terylene etc now next up we have see resins you know that resins resins they are the copolymers which are soft transparent bed they decompose by heating for example styrene epoxy and silicon resin etc it is used in ion exchange chromatography the epoxy and silicon resins they also use in the binding laminating and the surface coating material next terms we have discussed elastomers elastomers it is a plastics that stretches and then reverts to original shape it is randomly oriented amorphous polymer they should have some cross linkage and hence the chain do not slip over one another when elastomers are stretch the molecules which were random are oriented in one direction but van der waals forces are insufficient to maintain them that arrange when stretching the force is removed they go back to their original shape and therefore for example rubber it is a natural elastomers next points we have see addition polymers you know that an addition polymers or addition type of reactions can be done in presence of unsaturated system and hence unsaturated monomers add to each other repeatedly and to use a addition polymers addition polymerization involves the number of interrelated step and hence this is called as a growth polymerization the reaction can proceed through the formation of various intermediate radicals cations or the anions the monomer use either ethylene or the derivatives of ethylene you know that the substituents decide whether the radicals in ion or cation they can be termed as an intermediate for the polymerization can take place the initiators as like radicals cation or anion they can need to this polymerization and to determination reaction polystyrene so this is a addition polymers addition polymers can be divide some types first is polyethylene polyethylene has two types which is based on their density so firstly the polyethylene low density polyethylene and high density polyethylene low density polyethylene it is means it is has low density and prepared by the free radical mechanism at high pressure for example the number of ethylene molecules can get reactions with ozone at 170 centigrade and 1000 atmospheric pressure 
or by using Zingler Nata catalyst, it is famous catalyst for polymerization about 50 to 70 degrees centigrade and to get it is a long chain polymer is a poly now we have some properties for this polyethene it is a partially crystalline solid having their melting point is 115 degree centigrade it is a chemically inert so and the flexible now we have some uses for those polymers that is low density polyethylene film are high strength used in packing wrapping food products textile industries etc it is also used in agriculture the film are used to line the canals and ponds for preventing seepage of the water high density polyethylene is prepared by the coordination polymerization in presence of zingler nata catalyst it is mainly linear polymer chain so this is low density poly Low density polyethylene also prepared by free radical type of mechanism. So it is high pressure. These polymers contain branch chain polymer also, and this can be used in various ways. Now we have see high density polyethylene. High density polyethylene. It is a uh, high density polyethylene which is prepared by coordination polymerization in presence of singular nata catalyst it is linear polymers now we have see properties for this high density polyethylene it is a high crystalline in nature it is high melting points it can be hard and high tensile strain they can be also chemically inert and more resist. It is a brittle at low temperatures. Now we have seen these uses. It is also used in making the various bottles, contaminants, buckets, crates, and other housewares. It is also used for the table insulation. Now, next polymers we are going to discuss the polypropylene. They can also use or also can word are used as a PP. This polypropylene. In short, polypropylene. They can prepare by dissolving in N hexane and polymerization may be carried out at 20 to 100 degrees centigrade in presence of using the catalyst titanium trichloride. So this is a propylene. They can be polymerized using titanium trichloride at core atmospheric pressure. Having 100 degrees centigrade this is a polypropylene. So, what is the monomer of polypropylene? This is a polymer of polypropylene, and monomer is propylene. Similarly, the monomer of polyethylene, monomer of this polyethylene, okay? this is a polymer, polymer of polyethylene so monomer is ethylene so this is a very important they ask in final exam what is the monomer for this polymer okay. similarly we have going to discuss some properties for this polypropylene polypropylene 
they may be catalytic polymerization and we use stereoregular polymers. It is a isotactic, syndiotactic or atactic polymers. Isotactic polymers they are highly crystalline in nature. I mean the melting point is 208 degrees centigrade. It is a very steep high tensile strain. Now we have see the uses for this polypropylene. Polypropylene it mainly used to making the pipes, storage tanks, packing films and seat covers etc. It is also used to make the various sheet of it is used in refrigerators, TVs, also used as an insulator. Polypropylene, it is also used to making the fibers, for making the synthetic carpets, etc. Now, next polymers we are going to discuss, that is PVC. You know that PVC, polyvinyl chloride, they can be used in short PVC. PVC, they can prepare by the free radical polymerization in inert solvent in presence of peroxides. Peroxides are mainly used as a catalyst for making these polymers. So this is a vinyl chloride. And this is a polyvinyl chloride. So polyvinyl chloride, the monomer of polyvinyl chloride is vinyl. Monomer of polyvinyl chloride or PVC is vinyl chloride. Right? Now we have see properties for PVC. It is a thermoplastic polymers. Mostly the linear chain polymers it is a flexible and low crystallinity they can dissolve in the mixture of acetone and carbon disulfide now we have see some uses for these polymers they can use to making the raincoats hospital sheets, floor covers, etc. They also use for making the cable insulator, footwear, etc. Thank you.